Okay, we are back. And we're still exploring these vents here. I think that stuff might be cold enough to kill me. Okay, so let's go this way. Freezer. Oh boy, that was a thing. That is one door I don't mind being locked. Yeah. I'm gonna have to agree with you there. Ha. <laughs> huh. A thermostat controlling the amount of coolant running through these pipes. Okay. Well, I don't have my coin anymore. Let's try this. Cool, okay. Dropping it right down. Let's see if that... Was that it? Okay, great. That could be me if I don't get out of here soon. Chef Carlito is waiting for you in the mess hall with insert today's specials here. A happy worker is an efficient worker, and only efficient workers will be fed. Well, that's nice. Am I am I in Aperture Science Labs right now? Is or Black Mesa? The name tag says Neil Ozo. Oh, that's that's O. Well. Looks like you didn't make it, buddy. Patient notes. Darren Gray. Sex, male. Age, 32. Nationality, I'm assuming that means Australian. Role, excavation team. First symptoms. Patient reported mild disorientation and was asked to lie down. Mild sedatives administered. Hour three. Patient develops a rash on his neck. Possible infection entry point? Hour four. Two out of three full symptoms manifested. Deja vu. Patients report. Patient reports that he has already undergone standard tests when I am the only one who could have administered them. Paranoia. Said testing is abhorrent to the patient. I have no doubt that the third symptom, oral distortion, will take hold within the next 30 minutes. Abnormal noises. Even disembodied voices and alternate personalities are common reported in, another, in other infected staff. Hour 6. Patient secured as per archaic standard. Procedure. Bolted the bastard down myself. We can't protect ourselves from infection, but we can take precautions with the infected. Hour 7. Patient pronounced expired by common consent of all those present. Expiration was caused by an overdose of insulin. I administered the dose myself at 6.12. Death did not occur for another 13 minutes. Three times the expected figure. I wonder to what extent Gray could still be considered a man. Okay then. So... Whatever this thing does, it looks like I'll trigger it if I try to pass. Let's find out. Oh. All right. Doesn't look like there's any anywhere else for me to go. What the heck is this? Only efficient workers will be fed. Is that... Nope. Okay. Let, uh, let's see if I can use a decoy here. Chef Carlito is waiting for you in the mess hall with insert... Ah, he did say that it responds to organic matter. And so... Will be fed. And that's not going to interrupt the beam, so I can... Can I jump on top of this, maybe? Let's 
Give it the old... Okay, cool. That... That was easy enough. Oh, boy. It won't open. Looks like that device could be some kind of lock. The device is linked with the door. It must be some sort of lock. What's this? There's a pin-sized hole at the center of the dis of the device, and the display reads, Only trusted blood will get through. Nothing happens. A message board, full of scratch marks. Poker tour Friday night. Be there. I've actually never played poker before in my life. Except for there was a game on adultswim.com way back early with uh, with Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. That's about the closest to poker I've ever actually played. If you, do you guys remember that? Cartoon Network and Adult Swim used to be awesome at making Flash games and stuff. I don't know if they still do that anymore, but my guess would probably be no. Hey, there's a door behind here. I was just moving that stuff randomly, because I don't know what else to do, but there is a door. This game is just... I, I'm really impressed with the level of intricacy. I don't know what game, or what year this game was made, but... Yeah, pretty cool. Alcohol, ooh, okay. Don't mind if I do. Uh... These things are everywhere. There's still a part of me that's in there. Something's that's drawing me in. Cassette, a flare. What do I do with the cassette? Batteries. Oh, hey, there's a Gate to my knowledge, I am the last remaining member of the elevated at this facility, and so it falls upon the me elevated. To that Zeno protocol is not compromised. Zeno protocol? For that reason, I record here the only way I have discovered to neutralize the vinyl. Oh, well, please tell me. Great, okay. I have a feeling something's going to try and kill me probably pretty soon. Can't say for sure. Some sort of safety instructions. Yeah, I don't think any anything in this building is OSHA compliant. But there's some useful stuff in there. Damn that lock. I think it's some sort of fuse box must control the electrics in this section of the facility. It won't budge. Locked. No way I'll be able to pry this one open with my bare hands. Well... <laughs> okay! Uh, that... that worked. I... I... Uh, I didn't even... I was just gonna... Oh! Okay. The wall is partially crumbled and it's now piling up on the floor. 
did that... Hey, I can get in here now. Syringe. Oh, I hear things. I... Oh, crap! Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh, Jesus. Okay, well. I think we're off to a bit of a horrifying start here. I'll see you guys next episode.